Okay, time for an, an um, update on our bike project. So what have I been doing since the bit of uh, sunshine came into play? Well, as you can hopefully see down here, I've been starting to get the frame in. That's a slow, torturous kind of a process. But it's starting to come together and uh, as that's actually happening it's kind of helping me to be able to see where certain things are going to fit in. So we've got a kind of a bit of a hybrid here between a Honda and a and a, a, a Harley so I think it'll I think it'll all be blowed hard out for the best. Um, that pipe there was a real challenge to do. It's ended up uh, taking about two hours to do all of the bends and twists and turns in it, but it turned out pretty, pretty good. I'm just there to protect the end valves of the um, motors there for when we start doing. Um, Oh, we start kind of hanging into turns and stuff. Okay, I, can't, I think that'll be a while before I end up doing that, but I know some of my uh, volunteer test drivers do that first. So, that's where we're at with the frame. It's all made out of 25mm uh, tube steel. But, uh, got more to do on this side. So, Considering the sun's out today, I didn't feel like getting the gas torch out because I'd uh, oh, I'd end up over overcooking myself. So I decided to uh, try and sort out the 12 volt um, systems just to uh, identify some of the cables that I'm going to need. Get short of the things I'm not going to. So. Started off by powering everything up with a little 12 volt uh, 7 amp hour gel cell here. Just got it hooked in to the battery positive and a ground onto the front of the uh, a ground onto the frame. So I've just basically gone through the diagrams, flagged the cables I'm going to need for all of the various um, systems. Um, just dash instruments, lights, all that sort of thing. So I've got all that stuff identified. And all of the uh, standard 12 volt systems are operating fine. We'll just turn our key on here. Uh, we see that we get a glow behind the instrument panel there, so that means that part of it's uh, powered up. And the previous owner installed a toggle here, which we can just see, I turn that on, it turns on the um, um, headlight. So I think that this bike was actually set up so that the headlight was always on. But that guy just installed a switch on it, so that's a good idea. Um, I might put a different type of a switch in there. Everything else seems to work. Um, I'm with the kill switch supplies power to here so that I can hook the controller up to that. Um, the side stand, if I put the side stand down, you'll see we get a side stand height. And there's a cable here that when the side stand is actually up, that you get a ground on there. So I can I can hook that into a controller intro lock. So the controller can't uh, engage when the side stand is down. Let me bring that back up. Go oh, on, get up. That's that off. Okay, so everything else, temp gauge, oil light, um, neutral indicator, all that stuff, just uh, I just basic uh, terminals on this guy here, so it's all happy. Um, what else do we need to do? Yeah, so we have a, a thing here called a passing switch. And if I flick it, it brings on the headlight main beam. So, obviously I suppose that's if you want to pass someone out, you want to, uh, want to be seen. Everything else in terms of the turn signals, 
all that's happy we have turn signals indicators on front and back and uh, we swap over which a little bit that's all happy nothing going on there that shouldn't be so that's it really it's quite simple stuff now what I decided to do then was to see about getting the tachometer to work because uh, that's driven uh, it had been driven from this um, kind of spark con control box or whatever they, they tend to call this thing engine control system I guess so we don't need that any any anymore and uh, in there in the, the bin you'll see other things I've taken off and this can't join it so you know the only uh, difficulty that we have hoping some people can perhaps give me a bit of a pointer on this we have a look at our diagram you can see about his camcorder look at a tachometer um, see it's got a bulb there for the illumination and then it's got a the actual supposed attack it's 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 uh, self in there so we have a solid green which is a ground we have a yellow with a green tracer on it and uh, if we trace it back over here follow the line it goes into that uh, spark box you own it there so what I've done is I had assumed that okay we have a four cylinder um, bike here so I've just gone in on that cable there just a 1k just uh, on there I'm going to ground onto the battery post got my signal jam so I was figuring okay you know four cylinder bike it's going to be two pulses per ev and we can just essentially feed the thing now I'll try and zoom in on this tack here because I'll have to control the signal jam so if I turn on the signal jam here now I've got it set to a low frequency. I don't think this zoom is going to work too well for me. My hands aren't that steady. So if I turn the amplitude up, but I've got the frequency down. Um, it'll just go up here. I should be able to see it. So as we can see, our attack isn't driven. Uh, by frequency pulses or pulses shall we say as you would expect from a normal taco I got the frequency set at about 2 hertz there now and about 20 volts peak to peak going through the resistor so as we can see it's been driven by voltage now I'm going to get a potentiometer out here now in a second and we see if we just apply a DC to that uh, to that tack cable we can actually drive it now if that's the case then it seems as if the tack on these particular bikes is driven by a voltage and not a um, uh, pulse frequency so I'm going to set that up and we'll come back and see uh, what kind of um, we'll come back and see what happens so stay tuned ok we're back hooked up a 1k pot it's actually set up as a variable resistor here it's got it going straight on to the battery positive and down to our tack cable so with it set to full 1K, we're getting about 2,500 RPM on our uh, display here. So that tells me that about 12 milliamps into that uh, cable there, if this ridiculous camera would work. Thank you. Gives us about 2,500. If I, I give her a little bit of gas. adjusting up, uh, or sorry, adjusting down our pot 
you see we start to uh, increase in a fairly linear manner and go all the way up to uh, engine blowing setting and we can come back down again and pretty much dial her in to wherever I want to be so it looks as if this is a uh, probably more of a milliameter than it is a tachometer so anyone can think of how I'm going to drive this thing uh, answers on a postcard please so 12 milliamps is giving us 2.5k RPM. So that's it for today's update. And as I say, anyone can think of how to drive that tack up. I'd be very uh, interested to hear some theories on that. Okay folks, till next time.